Do you have a dirty little secret? Welcome to the club. And you're all invited. The first rule of the Dirty Little Secrets Club is tell everyone about the Dirty Little Secrets Club. We're handed out memberships free of charge. Step up to the VIP line and let Dana and Brimstone take you on a weekly ride of secrets and debauchery. Now buckle up, buttercup, because things are about to get heated on the Dirty Little Secrets Club. Welcome, everybody, to another edition of the Dirty Little Secrets Club. We're your hosts. Dana Pereira. And this is Brimstone, and it's going to be another great episode today. We got some stuff to talk about today. I know you got some fun stuff. We got a little bit of heavy stuff, but, you know, it's it's a nice little blend. It's a nice little blend. You know, after last week's episode, I was like, man, we have got to, like, incorporate some of the weird shit in the world. It's our job. It is our duty here at the Dirty Little Secrets Club to bring the dirty little secrets of the world not just pop culture. So yeah, I got some fun stuff for you. I, I I wanted to make sure that we were still given some juicy stuff, not just some heavy stuff. That's true. It is our duty to please those booties. So we got to make sure, you duty. know, <laughs> you like that uh, word. Duty. <laughs> duty. Wow. I am the great Cornelio. I'm yes. for my bumble. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, you are way too good at that. <laughs> that was one of my favorites. <laughs> so good. <laughs> that was one of my favorites. I'm like, like, like impressed. I'm sitting here impressed right now. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate it. I would have been more it. impressed if you would have pulled your shirt up over your head. <laughs> I, I actually considered it simply because we're filming, but then I realized we're filming and maybe I shouldn't do that. <laughs> that was good. Want, that was good. I, I don't want to go. Uh, yeah, I don't want to go too crazy with that. But um, yeah. yeah. Well, um, you want to hear what my husband on. did yesterday? Oh my god, what did he do? So my husband oh, went no. out for a dinner yesterday with some friends, which he of wasn't course wearing the pineapple shirt. He was not wearing his pineapple shirt. But okay. anybody that is listening, go check out Twitter for my husband's pineapple shirt. He might be a swinger now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it up on the Dirty Little Secrets Club, too. Um, yeah. So he goes out yesterday, and he's drinking with some friends. He went to a nice dinner, so it wasn't like he wasn't going out clubbing or partying or anything. He okay. was going to a nice dinner. He had um, a bottle of Prosecco, and then he had two bottles of wine. Not just him, the table. The table. Okay. There's multiple people okay. at the table. I was just going to say... Um... He drank three bottles of wine. Himself. Oh my God. No, no. He wouldn't have been able to, he would have died. There's no way. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Okay. All right. So he went to he went to dinner. He goes to dinner. Of wines with some friends. Okay. Yes. I'm I'm, I'm with you. I'm I'm okay. fucking with you. He comes home. Now, I don't know how you I know you're not a big drinker, and I know occasionally um if you go out, Danielle will have a couple of drinks and you have to put her to bed, right? Yeah. Yeah. My my husband, I was already in bed. My husband comes home. Now, because he's been drinking, he's cuddly. He wants to oh. cuddle. He wants to love. He wants to hug. He wants to kiss. Now, I have not oh, so been he's drinking. A happy drunk. He's, he's a, a happy very drunk. happy, yes. Well, okay. when he's drinking wine, yes. Other okay. things, no, not a happy drunk. <laughs> wine, he's good. I okay. have to wake up at six in the morning. I do not want to be cuddled. I do not want your hot alcohol breath in my face <laughs> i want to go to sleep i don't i don't want your hot alcohol breath in my face at 6 a.m what are you doing at six hold on oh because you had to wake up i have to wake up and take the kids to school yeah, so yeah, yeah. i'm fighting him off basically like dude i said i go bro 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 get away from me bro bro seriously bro <laughs> and he <laughs> rolls over and he goes I was broed to the other side of my bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's not cool. <laughs> I'm like, bro, bro. But it made me think about the difference between men and women. Because if I came home drunk and wanted to like cuddle and like curl up with him and put my hot alcohol breath in his face, he right. would be like, yes, please crawl inside <laughs> of me if you want. You know, like he would, he would be like, yes. Thank God she wants to cuddle with me, and right. I am the exact opposite. Are you like that with Danielle? If she's had a couple of um, beverages, are you like, yes, please come cuddle? 
I mean, I don't know. I, you know, it doesn't happen all that often. But, I know. You know there's, there's not. There's never an opportunity. It's just. It's just. It's like once you're you're in there, it's like, knocked out. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was hoping to have knocked out, but my husband does this other really cute, adorable thing whenever he's drinking, Uh-oh. where he snores like a fucking freight train. <laughs> So guess who didn't get any oh, sleep last night? <laughs> so you didn't get it. Well, you look wide awake. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Seven cups of coffee later. <laughs> oh, wow. So you're wired. You're like, hello. I'm How are you? I'm buzzed right now on caffeine for sure. Oh, my goodness. I, uh, you know, I mean, the, the thing that would have topped that whole story off is if he was wearing the pineapple shirt because, you know, you took so much heat on that. Um, so much. It was. It was, it was a little unfair, I think. Oh. I think people just weren't passing the vibe check. You know? They weren't. They absolutely no. were not. Some were, some were, but some people were not. But uh, welcome to the internet, right? Like, especially Twitter. Welcome to Twitter. That's just, people go on there, they're like, I hate my life. Who can I attack today? <laughs> In that <laughs> voice. True. That's how they sound. It's true. It's And do you notice how we still call it Twitter instead of X? I refuse like- to say X. And the reason <laughs> be- is because... I'm old, so I do that thing where it's it's already, like, permanent in my brain. It's like okay. when, when they change the name of a football field, and I'm like, fuck you. It's PNC Park, or it's – I mean, that's not the name of the football field, but it's Heinz Field, you know? Okay. It's not Accrish or whatever they're calling <laughs> it. These fucking, no, it's Heinz Field. Where are you going? Heinz Field? Yes, I'm going to Heinz Field. <laughs> I couldn't tell you which field is which, so, okay, I'm going to go with that. <laughs> you know what it's like when you're like, no, the name changed, but it's still the same in your brain because that's what it was right. when you were younger. Right. Or how about how about when a band changes, but they still keep the same name? How do you yeah. feel about that? Yeah, you like know? like the singer changes or, yeah. or something or like that. Like guitarist changes, like Motley Crue has changed members throughout the years and you know, and, and they still call themselves Motley Crue. Yeah, or at, what is it, Adam Lam Lambert? What's his name? Adam whatever. He used to, he was on American Idol and now he's like yeah, the front man for Adam Queen. Lambert. Yeah, Adam Lambert. And Adam yeah. Lambert, yeah. And I'm like, but it's not the same band anymore. <laughs> it's Queen with that guy. It's Queen with Adam <laughs> Lambert featuring Adam <laughs> Lambert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I I get it. You know, change is difficult sometimes. Yeah. Um, but you know, I mean, look. I guess you all got to get used to. Hey, everybody's got to get used to the fact that we changed up the the Dirty Little Secrets Club, right? Yeah, yeah. And my husband has got to get used to the fact that uh, I don't want his hot alcohol breath in my face <laughs> when I too have not indulged in some adult beverages. So if you, I had so- indulged, it would have been different, probably. So you could have indulged, right? I mean, I mean, I'm really trying to sleep eventually. I've, I've you know? taken my drinking down to like I'll have wine on Saturday night and then okay. maybe Sunday, depending on the weather, if it's going to be a Sunday fun oh. day or not. So, really? yeah, yeah, I, I'm I'm not I'm wow. trying to like, live this healthier lifestyle. I'm I'm really being good about it. Like I didn't drink for a whole month um, last month. It was like four whole weeks, no alcohol. I did a a dry four weeks and now I'm like, all right, like I can have wine if I go to dinner or something, but I'm not going to like sit on my couch on a Tuesday and have wine anymore. I, I, you know what? It's probably a good thing, but I will say, I will say, and, and, and what do you call it? When I was when I was at your house, <laughs> there were boxes of wine. Oh yeah, everywhere. I still have those. <laughs> <laughs> everywhere. So I don't know what you're gonna do with all that. That's gonna last you it's literally just gonna, you know, it's slow, uh, a lifetime. Age like a fine wine, right? Like it's yeah. it's wine that it's it's not going anywhere anytime soon. So we'll uh we'll just let it age and get better. <laughs> you know what's funny? Everybody says aging like a fine wine, right? But what do you call it? I I've had where um a perfect example like in um uh, i grew up in uniondale that was the my you know where I, the house that i grew up in when we moved from uniondale there were you know there was alcohol and stuff there so i had taken the alcohol you know to my mother's house mm-hmm. and then when i went and you know, when my mother passed away a lot of the same wine was there and i went to take the wine and what he called and i looked at it and it was it never opened it was completely and utterly disgusting so yeah. Uh, that that's not fine wine looking well you know. i'll tell you I, i'll tell you why <laughs> okay so wine needs to be stored properly it can't have like 
too much heat, too much cold. It can't fluctuate all that much. It has to be stored properly for it to age like a fine wine. And then Mm. also there's wine quality. Some some wines are just trash. You got to drink them right away. They have all of their sulfites or whatever, sulfates. I don't know which one. Um, But so if it's already crap wine, it's not going to last very long. Fair and then Fair if enough. it's wine that's good but wasn't stored properly, also not going to last that long. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah, that's why you got to like drink it quick. Cruds in it. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm like, no, no good. No, whatever. <laughs> See, here in, at, at Grindhouse in the studio, I have one of those wine things, one of the wine cellar. What is it called? A wine fridge? Uh, yeah, a wine fridge. Uh-huh. So I have one of them sitting in there. I mean, you know, it kind of just holds, you know, a couple of bottles of you know, and, and that's it. But yeah, <laughs> I like them. I, I have a couple of I have a wine fridge in my garage okay. um, and then I have one in the little pantry area. Right. Um, and then I have like storage for my other wines. So the box is a wine that you saw. <laughs> I actually this is going to sound weird. But I gave them to my housekeeper. <laughs> oh, no. There was like serious? cases and cases of wine. There probably like six cases of wine in there. And I gave them to my housekeeper because we weren't going to drink them. And I was like, they're going to go to waste. So do you want these? And she was like, yep, I'll be back. So she came and just loaded up her car with cases of wine. <laughs> wow. She's probably like, haha, I was taking them anyway. No, I'm just kidding. You know I'm what? She kidding. treats me very well. And she has to clean toilets in my house with you know, many boys. So yes, she yes. deserved those cases of four, wine. Four boys, four boys. Uh, well, one man, two almost men. And well, yeah. I guess in, in my religion, the Jewish religion, you know, they're men. So yeah. wait, you're you're half Jewish, aren't you? No. No, you're not. Well, no. nobody's perfect. It's okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what do you call it? I'm just messing with you. I am. Are you getting ready for Easter this weekend? I am. And the thing is, I'm not religious so i really piss people off with my zombie jesus comments but i say it all the time yeah yeah i'm not a religious person um i do the easter baskets for my kids but easter like if you ask my kids what is easter all about they're gonna say a fucking bunny comes to my house they hide an easter basket for me and then i get chocolate (laughs) wasted like that's what easter is i get chocolate wasted i would totally um I would totally love to go hide eggs at your house. That would be fun. What do you call it? Um, I, I, so my kids are Jewish, you know, and um, what do you call it? My, my ex was Protestant and what do you call it? Uh, you know, so I always tried to, you know, let them enjoy a little bit of everything. And I kind of want to just do, you know, do better. Yeah, <laughs> than yeah other of people. course. Yeah. Um, but well, at, you know, at the end of the day, so I always did like a total kick-ass Easter for the kids, uh-huh. where like I'd have an extreme egg hunt, and like they'd be up in the trees, uh-huh. like you know, on the ground, bushes, you name it, things. Ninja everywhere, warrior right? egg hunt. <laughs> oh yeah, it was amazing, and um, you know, maybe I'm a dick for doing that, but you know, in terms of of just you know wanting to do better than my ex, but my kids deserved it, and I wanted to make sure that they had the best. So, you know, I did what I had to do to to make sure that they enjoyed it. And um, what do you call it? So I did it every year. But what do you call it? But Haley, she had it for a little while when the kids were, you know, still, you know, before they moved out. Yeah. But, you know, since she's 100% Jewish, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, okay, well, you know, you don't really need it. You don't got to do it anymore. Yeah. So she's like, I'm cool with that. Just get me candy when it's 50% off the next there day. There you go. The next day. <laughs> Smart girl. Smart yeah. girl. So I, I don't like have it. to hide it. But I'm going to tell you, I do miss going out, waking up at the ass crack of dawn and hiding everything. You know? Oh, well, please come over because I don't That's miss what I'm that I would en- at all. <laughs> I would enjoy coming over and doing it for you. Um, Yeah. What do you call it? But then I have to fly to California. So. Uh, my arm is yes. really tired if I did yeah. that. I, I yeah. just I don't um... know how you're gonna make it. <laughs> so you've got some funny shit that you found on the internet. What do you call Speaking it? Speaking of flying, this actually ties nicely into one of the things in the world that is hilarious right now. And it was actually an am I at the asshole post. So I'm curious what you think of this one. Okay. So there was a woman who married her husband. They're both from another country. 
Um, and she goes back quite often to see her family. Whenever she got married, her dad moved back to um, whatever country they're from. I'm not sure what it was. But her dad didn't like her husband that much. Okay. So after they got married, they were flying to their home country. And um, she mentions to him that they're going to be staying with her father. Okay. And this guy is not happy about it. He's upset, but she's like, can you just like, stop? It's my dad. Like, just try. Right. Right. So she had to work. He got to the airport earlier with their bags and then she was going to meet him at the airport. Okay. So she, so she was meeting the, the boyfriend, the husband, the yeah. husband at, the, at airport the airport before they were leaving to go and see her father. Which was a long flight, like 18 hours, super expensive flight to get to. Um, so we're they're in the U.S. They're flying to wherever they're okay. going to. Okay. Um, so he indulges in some adult beverages. Oh, wait, on the plane? Not on the plane, before the plane. Okay. While, okay, while he's waiting plane. for her to get there. And she still hasn't gotten there. She has. She gets there. They go to board the flight. Okay. Flight attendants say he's he's too drunk to get on the plane. He can't get right. on. They don't let him board. Really? He's, he's too drunk to get on the plane. So Is the that a wife, thing? yeah. Oh gosh, yeah. People don't like if you're too wasted leaving New Orleans. I have to pretend like I have to put on my sober face whenever I'm leaving New <laughs> Orleans because usually it's like we're out until three a.m. And okay. then we go to the airport and fly out at 5 a.m. Wow. Okay. All right. Okay. I so, see. I don't drink. I don't drink excessively. You I know. know. What I mean? so, yeah. So I, you know, like for me, if if anything, you know, like I've had maybe a drink on a long flight. You know what I mean? Because I have like the passes or whatever that they send you, or yeah, or, yeah, the you know, drink like, tickets um, and stuff. Somebody recognizes and buys a drink, and you're like, thank right. you, and you know, like th that I've done, but not to exit. Not to in excess, so I wouldn't know. Okay, go ahead. Tell continue the story. So continue the story. This guy is too drunk to get on the plane. Flight attendant says, Nope, denied boarding. So the wife is like, Well, bye. She gets on the plane and flies home to her country, leaves her husband in the airport. Because she was like, this is an 18-hour flight. I don't get to go see my family very often. The tickets are super expensive. Like, I'm not wasting this because he decided, she thinks, to purposely sabotage their flight out because he didn't want to stay with her dad. All right. First and first and foremost, I, I, is there more to the story? No, that is the story. Now, here's the thing. I am paraphrasing what I read in an article. So if I okay. missed any details, it's possible. But I still thought it would be fun to do like a like see what you thought about this situation. First and foremost, I don't understand why they didn't get there at the same time. That that's that's a little weird to me to begin with. But OK, no problem. I can I can I can work with that. The fact that he was drinking, I'm sure he didn't drink overboard in order to you know become you know stupid junk and not go on the flight what if he was uh, nervous he could have been nervous maybe he didn't like doesn't like to fly maybe whatever it was they could have also said that he's not drunk that he has medical issues um you know that what he called it he just needs to to sleep and they should have put him on and and done that mm, or complain. medical issues won't get you on a plane Really? They oh yeah, they will divert for medical issues. They won't oh. if they think somebody has a medical issue, they're not putting them on a plane. <laughs> all right, fair enough. Okay, well, uh, then on, on uh, all right, let's take that out of out of the fact of the matter is if they would not let him on the plane, that does not mean that you're losing that ticket. That means they have to put you on a different flight. They can't just say no, deny you the flight, and you lose your money. Uh uh, no, that's not going to happen. So what she about should her? Have, she should have said, listen. You know, if you don't feel that he's OK to go on right now, which I you know, which is unfair. But if, if you're going to tell us that it's not OK for him to go on now, what's the next flight out? So this way we'll sit, we'll wait for however a couple of hours, let him, you know, feel, you know, get get uh, a little more down to earth and mm -hmm. then we'll take the next flight. You people make the arrangements. You know what I mean? I think that she should have stayed there in the in the airport with him. Listen, Day, I mean, I've been in airports for eight hours at a clip, not wanting to, but you have no choice. You know what right. I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, like I would say, no, I'm not going without, you know, 
I wouldn't have I went without. I go I go two ways on this, and I'll tell you both sides of my thinking. So one, if it was me now that we just had a situation where um a college student was left by himself drunk wandered into a river in Nashville and died right they're calling they say it's an accidental death so really? my thinking is why would we leave somebody intoxicated by themselves if he's that intoxicated that he can't go on a plane why would we leave him by himself left to his own devices at an airport where he right. could potentially get hurt was he like being loud and boisterous? I mean, possibly. Like... I'm not really okay. sure. Um, but Fair my enough. second thought is, if it was a, if it was her, and he didn't stay, and she was by herself, wasted, that also could potentially be bad. Like, I mean, would you leave your drunk wife in a public no. place by herself? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't leave a drunk friend by themselves. Exactly. So I do see that point of view. And I, and I would like to think that I wouldn't. However, I don't know what his social behavior before this was like. If my husband was doing something that pissed me off and then it was going to take away from my good time, my seeing my family because he – wanted to go and do something stupid, I could also see being really upset and being like, you know what? This is on you. You did this to yourself. You're not taking my time away from my dad. I'm getting on this flight. Right, right. So I could see both sides there. And I guess it's, you know, to each their own. But I would I would be pissed, Dana. I would be pissed off, but I would say, okay, we'll wait. You know, put us on the next flight. Yeah. I guess it would you depend know? on how pissed I was <laughs> in that moment. If you and I, if you and I were were traveling together to go do an event somewhere and so forth, and you were just having a day and you had a bunch of drinks and they would do the same thing to you, I would in a million years never leave you there. I'd be like, this sucks, but I would say, all right, put us on the next flight. You know, yeah. give us a couple hours for her. I'll get you some coffee and I'll I'll sit and make sure that you nurse back to to soberness. But that's uh -huh. just me. Like I would never, even if it was something really important that we had to go to, I wouldn't just leave you there. And That's I appreciate that. Wrong. And I would also like to think that I would never put you in that situation. <laughs> uh, I, I would assume you wouldn't. But if you fingers did, crossed, man. <laughs> but if you did, I've I got like to you. board planes. <laughs> yeah, no, but if you did, I've got you. Or I would I'd be like, all right, you know, I but basically put my arm around you and go be like, all right, day, we're going to be very, very calm. Don't say anything. We're just uh -huh. going to walk you right yeah. in. Just smile, be quiet. keep walking. Just smile and keep walking. Put, you know, put your and... hat down over your eyes. Yeah. And, and if any, I'd be like, pretend like you're sleepy. Slowly. And uh -huh. if they say anything, <laughs> if they say, or I'd get a, um, uh, what do you call it? A, um, a wheelchair. <sighs> thank you. A wheelchair and put you in the wheelchair, you know, and be like, all right, well, listen, I need to, I need to, you know, walk her in. You know, she's, she's not. She had an well. accident. She needs to, <laughs> she needs wheeled yeah. into her seats. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, that's what I would do. I mean, I would never let the leave you like. Come on, man, that's just ridiculous. That's like ridiculous. I said, so, I could so go either way him. on that one. She left him and got on the flight and went. And that's all we know about the whole story. That's all I know. I don't know if anybody okay. posted anything more about it. That's all okay. I read of it. But I was like, wow. And and I bet some of our listeners will have um, thoughts on which way they might go, or maybe even things that we didn't even think of. Um, for this one, but I think that you have to be pretty damn intoxicated to be denied boarding well, to a plane. I got to believe if that was the case, he must have been walking in there like, uh, you know, uh, you know, like, right. Or, yeah. Or, like or stupid mouthing drunk. off or mouthing off or doing something stupid. Or like super not... smelled like alcohol or something. Yeah. But I mean, if that's the case, just spray yourself with some cologne or something i mean spray some cologne in your mouth <laughs> <laughs> well i mean look i i always have like stuff with me like the little things so this way when i'm traveling i can try to stay as fresh as possible you know even though it doesn't necessarily work all the time but yeah. you know like because i'm a big guy so you know i want to make sure that i'm not sitting somewhere and and sticking up the joint you know but totally. um, so i'll i'll have i'll have you know some cologne i'll have deodorant i'll have what do you call it um sometimes i'll have like a little listerine or something or such at least a mince. thoughtful passenger you know? 
I am. I, I am. appreciate that. I wish more and, people would be thoughtful. Well, but I usually also, depending on when, I, when I'm flying, I'll usually get have my my seat, and then I have um, a second seat next to me, so this way I can not have anybody in the middle. You oh, know what I mean? That is wonderful. Yeah, I can't. I can't. You know what I mean? Yeah. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Like again, if we were flying, if I could get that second seat, I would. But you know, like you're so tiny. It's it wouldn't necessarily make too much of a difference, you know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, you know, and and I would assume that you wouldn't care if I was right next to you, but I wouldn't. I'm no. not like like this, you know. But I'd probably end people... up drooling on your shoulder. But yeah, probably. sure. Probably, <laughs> and that's fine. But you know, but ha- if you were by yourself and you had two people on each side of you that you don't know and they're my size, you're not going to be thrilled. And most of the time, they're going to smell like shit. Yeah. Oof. Don't want that. I'm sorry. I'm not don't trying to that. be a dick. It's just the re- it's the truth. Yep. You know what I mean? People are people are very you know they don't. When they're traveling, it's like for some reason people don't like to take care of themselves. And on top of that, what do you call it? Like, uh, you know, especially when you go into destinations like California or Florida and so forth where there's like the theme parks. Yeah. Forget about it. The theme park people are sometimes the very worst. They smell like such ass. It's like ass and pickles. No matter where you go, it smells like ass and pickles. It's, that's it. <laughs> it's true. You know, it's true. Ass and pickles. That might be the title of this week's episode. <laughs> <laughs> but is it? Am I? Am I wrong? Like, am I wrong? Right. I. I it is my favorite thing that I think you've ever said. But <laughs> <laughs> it's. But that's. And that's. And that's what the aroma is. You're walking around. You stand. I can't stand on lines. I. I will not stand in line. You know what I mean? Like, um. You know, I. I have. You know, things that. You know, connections with Disney and, and Universal and so forth and whatever. So I. I usually can get through a park pretty quick and yeah. not wait on lines but you're still even when you're not waiting on lines and you're doing anything vip and so forth there's still other people around right, and totally. when you catch a whiff of, of some of these pickles. people it's ass and pickles it's like somebody shat themselves and then used the shat to sit and put under their armpits and then around their necks as if it was cologne you know oh, what boy. i mean no <laughs> thank am you I for wrong? That. No, Am thank I you to that. No, I've definitely smelled like that's one of my Man. biggest fears on a plane is that the person next to me is either going to be like gassy or like smell like BO or oh. something like that. So, yeah, I. Ugh. How about the loud fuckers? How about the loud fuckers? Yeah. All right. There was this one. F- I don't even know where I was going, but I remember there was this dude behind me and he was p- everybody was pissed off. He had earphones in, right? The little earphones. And he was watching something and every two seconds, blah, ha, 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 ha. Oh, that's <laughs> that you were flying. This was recently. Yeah, because this was not. You, I you talked about, about this. Yeah. yeah. I swear to God, I turned around. I Did was like, I'm going to rip this freaking guy's head off. Yeah. Like, seriously, when you're pissing off everybody in the goddamn plane, like that, you should know, like, there's people just they just have this they just I don't I know. know and then know. you got the then you got the ghost the ghosts uh, stinkers you know what I mean uh-huh. Ooh, they'll they'll sit there and then, the phantom oh, farters phantom farters you know and and they sit there and pass when and then they don't like that like nothing happened you know uh-huh. well because Nasty they're like people. there's twelve people surrounding me right now they'll never know it's me yeah yeah and they got headphones on because you got this moron laughing louder than 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 uh-huh. uh, you know yeah. Like, ugh. I can't handle. I can't handle. Yeah. Anyway, so you, you well, have any other funny I, stories? Or? We're we're gonna transition from alcohol to drugs. <laughs> oh, oh, all right. We get. We get so, <laughs> this is a healthy is, episode. I know <laughs> there is a social media influencer. I believe. Oh, uh, I want to say India or something like that, but I might be wrong. But he was held for fourteen days. After oh. police found nine cobras and a plastic bottle with 20 milliliters of snake venom what? at a party that he was having, people's drug of choice at this what? party was snake venom. Can you just just re? Let me go. Okay. <laughs> cobras, you say? <laughs> oh, nine, nine cobras. They had. So you're telling me this dude had nine real live cobras that they were milking apparently they were milking nine cobras and then distributing the 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 venom yeah what the fuck are these people doing with the venom 
No, but how are you not afraid you're going to die? I mean, I guess if you're doing heroin or anything else, you have the potential of dying also. So never mind that tracks. But like, if I'm going into a party and there are nine cobras just chilling, I am nope, nope, noping the fuck out of there. <laughs> there are nine cobras just chilling. <laughs> But what, like, I don't understand how this works. I'm so very confused. Yeah. I don't know if they drink it, if they shoot it, if they, like, if they drop it on the top. I don't know. I don't even know what snake venom does to a person, but I have to imagine that it's <laughs> like a... Nothing good. Well, here's me being judgmental. Okay, are you ready for my dirty little secret? Oh, my God. Okay. Back in my raving days, which oh, was a oh. very long time ago. I didn't know you did raving. Oh, but I was like 18 to 20 years old, I think, whenever I was okay. like huge into raving because I couldn't go to bars. So I just went to parties and did drugs. Okay. okay. Um, Back in my raving days, I would do ketamine. No. Are you serious? I've done ketamine. I've put myself in a uh. K-hole before. So I guess that's not much different. I mean, it's a tranquilizer versus snake venom, but... I don't know. I guess I've done some pretty stupid shit to myself back in the day. Um, you think? <laughs> I'm not even I'm not even gonna I I am so upset with you right now. <laughs> I know it's in the past. Listen, I, I was past, I was a I'm dumb so eighteen to twenty year old person. Oh you know, like that that past me really wanted to numb. This was before therapy. <laughs> this was Fair injured, enough. hurt, sad Dana numbing herself at raves, right, thinking that I was enough. cool by doing ecstasy and ketamine. I'll still dance, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's just crazy. All right. Well, all right. Well, so you put that and and all it does is make you hallucinate, right? I don't know if you I mean, I would imagine you would hallucinate. That sounds about right. If you get bit by like a um. What do we have out here? Rattlesnakes. Like, that can mess with your brain. Yeah. Cobras, and these are cobras. Like, 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 why the hell would you even... First of all, why the hell would you want to F with a freaking cobra? Like, I don't... I don't. I'm a, I would not mess with a cobra. Mess with a cobra after you've already done snake venom? Like, could you imagine the dumbass people that were already fucked up from the snake venom and then being like, look, a cobra. Yeah, I know. Look, I want to pet it. Yeah. <laughs> I want to cuddle put my cobra. Hands on it. I'll pet that like... dog. <laughs> I'll pet that dog. Right? Can you imagine? Yeah, that's it's I, like I, my I, husband I, trying to cuddle me in bed, and I'm like, Shh. yeah, right. <laughs> well, he still wants to. He still wants to spit his cobra on that. Oh, you know he what I mean? sure does. He I, sure well, you does. Know, like, that's a oh, little dirty little secret. Uh huh. A little uh -huh. bit of it coming back. There. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> No, you know, at the end of the day, um, yeah, that's kind of effed up. I don't know anybody. I don't know why anybody would want to mess with that stuff. It, it's just ludicrous. Like, why? I, I don't understand why anybody wants to put things into their systems that they don't know what's going to happen to them. You know, at that point, in a week from now, two weeks from now, a month, two months, ten months, a year, five yep. years, ten years, because of the shit that you're putting in your body now. 100%. That's one of the reasons, like, that's why I don't drink very much. That's why I never, I've never done drugs. I don't, what do you call it? Like, I, I mean, I, I don't even like to take aspirin and, you know, Tylenols and stuff. And I do because of certain, you know, my head, my head's really bad and my knee's really hurting. But what do you call And I'll do it and I'll double stack them at that point. But they work really well because I don't do anything else. You know? Yeah, I'm, I'm that way now. Like, I, I don't, I mean, obviously I'm not doing drugs. I barely take Tylenol, you know, <laughs> like if I will yeah. suffer through my cramps rather than take Tylenol. And there are times where I have to be like, stop torturing yourself, Dana. Just take a stupid Tylenol and move on with your day. <laughs> right, right, right. No, I'm with you. But maybe I, I should I... drop some snake venom. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Next time I'm in Cali with you, we're going to we're going to drop some snake venom. We're going to find that? ourselves a rattlesnake. Find a rattlesnake. We're going to milk that bitch. We're milk that some bitch. Milk, milk. That some bitch, and uh -huh. then we're gonna be like, "Holla at your boy," and be like, eh. uh -huh. "Wait, hold on, how do they do it? They put it on oh, their no. tongue? Do they snort it? I mean, it's liquid, so I guess you don't snort it. You you shove it into your veins, like put it up your butthole. Know. I don't know. I don't know how they oh. do it. That, well, listen, I, I'm out on that one. I'm tapping. I was a raver. <laughs> I never put ecstasy in my butthole, but I know people who did. Well, because apparently you can. I, I I've heard this. I don't know where I heard it from. 
but what do you call it that you can actually taste from your anus. So if huh? you put stuff in there and that's why people do that soaking, is that what it's called? Soaking? Um, so I, I cannot, I don't know that you can taste from your anus. However, I do know that putting it up your anus is like a direct path to the blood system. And so it, okay. it hits you quickly. Yeah. Um, in the it you get it a lot faster than you would if you swallowed it and had to digest it and wait for your right. body to metabolize it and all of that stuff. Fair um enough. yeah, I don't know about snake venom. I am curious though. <laughs> like I might need to do a deep dive on what the fuck snake venom does to you as a drug. Yeah, because that's weird. what <laughs> I'm I'm not feeling I'm not feeling the snake venom. I'm I'm sorry. I'm not feeling the snake venom. Um, listen, you know, you want to put drugs up in you, you know. All right, go for it. Like, uh, you know, don't have anything to do with me if you do it. I just I can't. I can't. Oh, youths are increasingly turning to snake venom as a substitute for traditional drugs after discovering that highs can last for days. Why? What the hell? Something's wrong with our youth. Something's really wrong with our youth. I I don't I don't get it. I, I just I don't understand. I mean, first of all, I would not want to be high for days. Could you? Holy shit! I've never been high, so I couldn't tell you what it would be like for days. Oh my god! Well, I've definitely been high, and that shit is scary. I mean, it's not scary, <laughs> but you're like at at some point, you're like, I'd like to sleep now. You know, like. Uh huh. I'd like to have a job <laughs> or, wow. you know, like be a productive member of society. Some people don't, though. So I guess no. a high for days is what they looking for. That's craziness. Well, I guess some people would want to be high for days. I, You know, there there are people like, hey, it's in the movies. <laughs> yep. Yep. It sure is. I just um, I definitely would not want to be anywhere near fucking cobras, especially no. while high. No, no. No, you trip on it. What what happens when you trip and fall and and you fall into the freaking snake tank? Imagine the headline for your fucking fear factor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing fear I'm in fear factor. <laughs> I ain't afraid well, of no covers. No, no. No, no. I look, snakes in general are some nasty bitches, you know, but yeah. like cobras, oh, especially after they've been sitting getting their freaking their fangs freaking, uh, you know, juiced. Oh, yeah, yeah, then they're yeah. mad. Big I, mad. Big. Then they're big mad. <laughs> <laughs> big mad. Uh, I still love that. I still, oh. I still love big mad. I'm sorry, I do. Um, yeah, no. Yeah, but these. Well, anyway, what else we got? Anything? Well, we got Diddy. We got Diddy in the oh, news. Oh my goodness. So yeah. All right. So so Puff Puffy. Um. Yeah. Formerly Puffy. Puffy, Formerly Puffy, Puff Daddy, P. Diddy. P. Diddy and, and, and Dizzle. We're, we're hit, Dizzle my we're nizzle. <laughs> it's kind of similar to Quiet on Set where they're diddying, you know, the kids, and it's not cool. Um, You heard what I did there? Did you, did yeah, I, I heard. That? I heard All you right. diddy. You Diddy's Allegedly. Diddling. Allegedly. Um, it's, listen, so I nothing's come out as factual yet. As of this at point, at the time right of now, recording, yeah. At the time of recording, they've been looking at him for years, apparently, about trafficking, um, and and uh, sex trafficking and so mm-hmm. forth. And I'm not, you know, I'm I, I I'm sorry to say it the way I did it. I'm trying to be a little lighter with it because we've had a couple of heavy episodes the last couple of episodes, and what do you call it? Um, you know, obviously, I'm meaning it in jest and and playfully. Um, hopefully, you don't take it too inappropriately. But the fact of the matter is, is that he's been investigated for the last couple of years, if not longer. Um, they just did a raid on at least two of his properties. Mm-hmm. Right? Do you know which properties they were? It or, was or uh, Miami and Los Angeles that we know for sure. I'm not sure. I know he has another home in New York, but I don't know if they raided that one as well. We do okay. know that Miami homes and Los Angeles homes they were raided right so you know they're raiding the houses um what do you call it 
apparently they were they were treating the 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 family members and the employees at the houses like the the police that were going in they went in like military style and mm-hmm. uh, they they were very disrespectful to the people that were, from what I'm hearing. Now, well, I mean, um, I don't want to jump on that bandwagon just yet because we don't know what the people in those houses if any of these accusations of sex trafficking or whatever else is true and these are the company that he keeps. That means it's likely, yeah, it's likely that they could be involved as well. His children are grown ass adults. They're not kids. They they know what they're they're around. Oh, um, so enough, I don't want to hop on that. Now I also don't want to say that they were involved. I don't even want to say that Diddy was involved because it's all alleged. It's not nothing has been. He hasn't been charged with anything, right. um, right. or anything like that. But he has had multiple lawsuits that have been settled out of court over the last several months to years, including his ex girlfriend and um somebody that formerly worked for him. All saying that he sexually abused, sexually assaulted, um, and and in in general was an abusive, controlling guy, which is right. interesting. And this is with men and women, not just women. Wow, wow. Well, the things that just came out um, recently, uh, because of all of this, uh, a a video from way back when uh, didn't didn't happen to age well. Uh, with with him and and also he and he should he, he should go back to Puff Daddy rather than Diddy considering it's not sounding so good with no with Diddy-ing, it's way you know, too close to diddle. diddling diddling <laughs> right um yeah not good um but what do you call it a a, a new uh, an old video resurfaced of him with Justin Bieber when Justin was about fifteen now this is right around the time funny enough where where I had known Justin Bieber for a uh-huh. very, tiny period of time or we our paths crossed i should say and was he um, blinking twice for help you know what i'm gonna he was a very very respectful very sweet kid mm-hmm. um what do you call it he uh, samantha did the red carpet with him i think i told you about that right yeah yeah well because, and, um, because usher found bieber right found him on like youtube or something on YouTube. Right. and he usher found- has been tied to diddy too now what what diddy actually says in the video all right was uh which is kind of a little creepy as as sin. This these are his words, not mine. Quoted, mm-hmm. I have been given custody of him, meaning Justin Bieber. Uh, you know he signed to Usher, and I had legal guardianship of Usher when he did his first album. I did Usher's first album. So basically, like, okay, it kind of reminds me of, um, what do you call it? Like the whole back to the the quiet on set quiet on thing set. Mm-hmm. you know with with dan schneider and um what do you go also i don't know if you saw not to jump around but uh jerry trainer J- trainer or trailer yeah yeah right I you, you um, sent that to me yeah yeah he plays the older brother on iCarly, and mm-hmm. apparently he was taking a stance he deleted you know um or stopped following nickelodeon and, and iCarly. iCarly. but what do you call it? but he apparently um and there was footage of it Tried to protect the kids on on the iCarly. He was set getting in from. between Dan Schneider and the the people on the set. Like if he was doing something inappropriate, touching them or whatever, he would like right. put himself in the middle. Which right. I kind of want to hug this guy if with yeah. consent, of course. <laughs> trainer, I believe Jerry. Yeah, trainer, trainer, I trainer yeah. Um, which is funny because he's such a weirdo on on those. Uh, I love shows, it. But, I love it. Um, but that being said, what do you call it? Um, you know this this whole thing. Um. Is like the same grooming elements as a a lot of it's coming out lately. It's not just lately over the last several years. It's the behavior is coming out. These people are becoming adults now and they're no longer allowing. They're like, I need to tell this story so that it doesn't happen to kids. Like it's people are finally saying shit. But here, here's here's uh, another quiet on set apparently this coming month. Um, But, you know, here now now. Some of this where, you know, he's sitting and doing things with with a Justin Bieber at 15 and mm-hmm. we don't know what happened. I mean, uh, Justin hasn't said anything at this point, as far as I know. Uh, um, Usher, though. Could... Usher said something? Uh, Usher was in an interview talking about whenever he was like 13. Uh, he lived with Diddy when he was like 13 to 15 or something like that. Oh. And he was like, I've seen some weird shit. Now, 
this is alleged. I don't know if this is a rumor or if this is fact, but remember back in 2017 when Usher was sued by three people for not telling them that he had herpes? Mm. Apparently he got herpes at Diddy's house when he was a young kid. Really? Uh Uh-huh. Well, that... Again, allegedly, it's a rumor. It's something that I am regurgitating. I don't know this to be fact, but somebody had said that um, on one of the articles that I was reading that him in that house with all of the sex workers is where he got, or possibly even from Diddy, um, where he got herpes when he was 15 years old. Wow. See, and and here's the thing. I mean... (sighs) And, and it's very, very, it's very disturbing because, you know, we, we don't, I, I don't want it to be true. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I yeah. don't want it to be true. I've never, I've never liked Diddy, P- Puffy. I've never liked Puff. I never, I never liked him. I didn't dislike him. He was just there. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, and uh, he's very powerful in the music industry at this point. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, sometimes with power, you know, well, where it does come with great responsibility, some people abuse that responsibility and power. Yep. And, um, you know, but then. Then and again, I'm I you know I'm please do not quote me on any of this as though I'm I'm saying that he didn't do anything. But then you got like a Michael Jackson, you know what I mean, who mm-hmm. had Macaulay Culkin at that young age sleeping over his house and so forth. Now, Michael Jackson, I, he's had people that have said things for years, but honestly, I think he was just a big kid and he never grew up and he did. I don't think he did anything to the kids. But where were all? How does anybody, as a parent, let their kids at that age sleep over a grown man's house or a grown woman's house, for that matter? Who do not that that do not have children of that age? You know what I mean? It's I I don't what because it's Michael Jackson because it's Puff Daddy. Like yeah, you know what? Yeah, that's like, that's exactly you just hit the nail on the head. That's exactly that why. Jazz. In a million years, my I kids understand. Would never have stayed there. Even but you're if I not was everybody. friends with them. Yep, you're not everybody though. And yes, there are like I am with you. I wouldn't let it happen totally. But yes, there are people that see people in positions of power, and they do what they ask. That happens all the time. And right. so yes, it is easy for me to believe that somebody would be like, oh, uh, you know, Diddy wants Usher to live here for a couple of years while he's working on his album. Cool, no problem. Yeah, he's gonna make him a star. Of course, they said yes. Right. I, no, I'm not. I'm. I'm not cool with that. I'm not cool with it. Yeah. Well, you know, now he has care. all of these parties. He. I mean, Diddy is known for his party. His white party in the Hamptons mm-hmm. is like. The biggest party of the year, right? Is it? I don't even know. Yeah. I don't know. No, I, I'm I, pretty sure that's episode, I'm not going to be invited out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> listen, blacklisted to the white I party. Yeah, blacklisted to the white party. Um, Listen, I, you know, and I, 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 I've I, done events out in the Hamptons. I've done big events out in the Hamptons, you know, um, but you'd never know that this type of stuff was going on, you know, in the shadows. You know oh, what I'm saying? Boy. Like, there is so much going on in the shadows. And now it's like uh, some of the women who are named in lawsuits um, are coming out and saying shit. The, the one woman that he settled with um, outside of court, her lawyer put out a statement basically saying, we'll cooperate with the police. Like, sure, we settled with him out of court. She probably got a nice little payday to keep her fucking mouth shut. Right. But her lawyers were like, if the police come to us, we're talking. But see that, but see, that's how do they do that? If they have, if they have a, an NDA and they were paid off, how could, you know what I'm saying? Well, like, I think that the police could subpoena and they have to talk whether there's an NDA or not. Um, Not necessarily, not a legal. I think legal it depends document. on the person. So if this, if this is for, if yeah. he's being charged with, sex trafficking i think they can waive that nda <laughs> i think they wow. can take care of that nda all right fair enough all right i mean again i just i don't i don't i, I don't i don't know i don't well, know it's it's curious so he obviously has not been charged with anything we don't know exactly what's going on it's very clear that they are building some sort of case we don't know what they found 
in the raids, right? Right. So in the raids, um, and it could be anything, and this is what I find fascinating. Whenever they're raiding a house, it could be that they're looking for computers or cameras or a USB or whatever. They could be looking for stuff like that. But they also could be looking for, and I heard this on a podcast, and, and so I'm regurgitating this information that I thought was interesting. They also could have witness testimony that was like, oh, whenever you walk in the door, I was standing at, to the left at the bar and I was having a drink and then this happened. Da, da, da. So they also they could be saying. going in and just looking at the lay of the land to say like, oh, yeah, this person was in this house right? and this did happen. Or I – you know, was wearing a, I don't know, a red ball gag and uh, blah, 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 that was in this room. And then they go to that room and they find those things. Right. That also backs up their story. So it's not right. just like electronics and shit like that that they're looking for. They're also trying to, like, back up witness statements. Right. Which I find fascinating. Yeah, that makes sense. That's a little crazy, though. Um, yeah, we don't know what's going to happen here. It, the, yeah. like I like we said already at the time of recording, nothing has happened, but something feels like it's a brewing, and we're waiting for it to go kaboom. Now, what if, what if, right? Mm -hmm. It turns out that he is innocent and he didn't do any of this stuff. It's possible. I don't want to say that it's not. Been, and he's been dragged through the absolute shitstorm. Then you know he will I mean? have a Netflix documentary come out <laughs> in wow. four years, and then we'll all be like, we're so sorry, Diddy. <laughs> yeah, right? We're so sorry, Diddy. We didn't mean it. We, we know you did it. Yeah. We know you did it. I wonder how I, I, I wonder how he's being treated by all of the uh, the other people in the industry right oh, now. Oh, I am sure purposely... people are distancing themselves because he threw so many parties that the laundry list of big huge mm -hmm. famous names that have attended yeah. his parties right is right. a mile long so it's like a, a hip hop epstein thing it that's, that's what, what it's it, looking like that's what it sounds like wow oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah i really hope it's not going to be that i hope they're wrong i really do i really i really do i you know j just like with the whole michael jackson thing i just wanted them to be wrong with it you know, yeah. I mean, he died, so you'll never really, really know. I mean, yeah, they had that one know. documentary. Yeah. Did you watch that one documentary about? Yeah, watch no. that. I forgot what it's called. Uh, they put him in such a bad light, but some of it I'm still looking. I'm like, you know, well, he can't even defend himself. You know, he's dead. Yeah. You know? Well, I, I, I mean, just... we'll we'll find we'll find out. I feel like I mean, time will tell with all of these matters that are going on. Time will tell. The truth True. doesn't fucking hide for too long. And, you know, like, I feel like it's not looking great for Diddy at this point. It's not no. looking like things are going well for him. Um, I mean, you got well, there's a lot of people. Rated. There are a lot of people that 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 think and feel that that Sean Combs is the one who hired the hit. On uh, on Tupac. Biggie Smalls. Oh, Biggie. Sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Biggie. Uh huh. You know what I mean? So, you don't know. Maybe you know, I don't know. Maybe yep. they're looking into that too. Maybe that's what they're really looking for at with under the guise of this other stuff. It there's so I mean yeah there's it's about to get crazy. Yeah. Really nuts. I listen. Um, I, I, I guess. I mean, that's really all we can say about it right now because we don't yeah. know much more. Um, it's just you know, uh, for for the sake for the sake of um, you know, like the the shit storm of everything that we keep hearing in the media, you know, and and seeing and that what we've talked about the last couple of weeks. Like, I, I really hope, I really hope that it's it's nothing. Um, and, and that he's exonerated. I really do. Just, I would like for there to be one person to, to not be the scumbag that, that, you know, everybody's saying they are. I understand. Is that, that, is that wrong? Is that no, wrong? no, I understand the hope. I don't think it's true. I think that shit's going to hit the fan soon. However, I understand the hope because we look at these people and 
they they're success stories and you yeah. like to think that people that hold these positions of power that you know brought themselves up and they're these huge successes and that you look up to them or yeah. like even maybe not them but their story can be inspiring and then mm. you find out that they were actual legit pieces of shit that were abusing yeah. their power and hurting people and it's depressing you're like what I the agree. fuck can we just have one person that holds a position of power because it's something that we want right agreed and we're like but i wouldn't be a piece of shit if i held that power no and no. so that's why whenever these stories come out you're like please it would be so nice if this wasn't true because we just want to believe that people that can hold power don't turn into massive piles of shit i agree i and and um yeah that's that. That's the best thing. That, that's the best way to end that. Yeah. I, I just I don't even want to talk about it anymore. What do you call it? Um. By the way, and, and to to you know to since it's towards the end of the show now, uh, let's let's leave this on a lighter note. Did you ever notice that Steve Carell and and Alice Cooper look like they could be father and son? No, <laughs> but I need it to will, Google it now. It will never, ever, ever, ever. Um, what do you call it? Leave your brain after. Oh you my see god! It. Yeah, Steve Carell next to Alice Cooper. They look like they could be father and son. Oh my or god! Everybody, like, go Google right now. Yeah, or Steve Carell, you know, dressed up, you know, in in a wig and and makeup. And he could pull it off. People would be like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> he could he could do the he could do the documentary of the movie on Alice Cooper. That's amazing. Um, <laughs> I met Alice uh, a couple times. We don't know each other from Adam, other than. We met at a couple of um, signing events, and um, you know, I I actually remember double taking him and saying, "Wait, is that no? It's Alice Cooper." You know what oh, I mean? Oh, that's so funny. So, and I and I just saw a photo of the two of them side to side, like two different pictures. Yeah, and I'm like, wow, 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 wow. I'd be shocked. ganger. Well, Steve Carell's mother might have been a little. <laughs> You know what I'm saying, and uh, got it on with the. Oh, rock it's or like that whole like. McConaughey and. Uh, uh, yeah, McConaughey is who is he? Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson, thank you. My God, my brain just fucking. It, it's all this coffee that I've been drinking. I just, <laughs> I just malfunctioned in the brain cells. So they're they're like half brothers or something. Is that mm, what what mm -mm. the case is? I don't know that for sure, but that that's what they're like, oh, it's a possibility kind of a thing, you know? So I don't think that it's ever been confirmed that that's the case. But, yeah, they, they talked about it being a possibility. Wow. Uh, talked about it being a, a possibility. You know? <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, if it's true, the genes are strong in that one, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What do you call it? yeah. So definitely look up Alice Cooper and Steve Carell next to each other side by side and you're going to you're going to shit yourself because it's 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 really, really it's it's mind blowing. But um, anyway, guys, we love you. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for tuning into the Dirty Little Secrets Club. Uh, what do you call it? We hope you're enjoying the new format. We are absolutely having a great time giving it to you. Um, again, we we felt really awful that the last couple of weeks, even though we love the shows, they've been very very heavy. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed us giving you a little bit fun, uh, more fun content uh along with the heavy stuff this week yeah and if you guys are on social media make sure you're tagging us if you see anything hilarious or weird in the headlines that we should be talking about please tag us and let us know because we're always on the lookout the weird is a or the weird the world is a weird ass uh, place <laughs> and also and, and and don't forget we are still the dirty little secrets club so if any of you do have those dirty little secrets that are gonna make us squeal OK, you can send them to us. I want to squeal. We, we absolutely will read them here and there on the show. We do want to hear from you guys. We do want to hear your secrets. That is uh, what built the Dirty Little Secrets Club. So mm -hmm. if you send them in, as long as it's not the same thing over and no over and over No redundancy. Again, we know right. you fucked your boss. Right, <laughs> right, right. You know, the glory holes. Ah. There's just so much we could talk about the same thing over and over and over again. But if there's something that really pops out and, and you know, you said, you submit it still same place uh you know dirty little secrets mm -hmm. uh if if you go there you drop your dirty little secrets in there if there's something that hits us we'll be like hey let's read this on air and we'll do a, you know an, an old school minute there you know and and we'll, right. we'll have fun with it so we don't want you to think that that that's completely gone um so yeah just shoot us your, your secrets and we'll see what happens uh day do you have anything else you want to leave them with the only thing that i would love to leave them with 
is that the first rule of the Dirty Little Secrets Club yes. is to tell everyone about the Dirty Little Secrets Club. Preach, sister, preach. We love you guys. We thank you so much again for tuning in every single week. Uh, what do you call it? Make sure you keep hitting us up because we've been hitting the charts. Mm -hmm. um, we, we were just number two in what was that? That, that was on Good Pods. We we hit Good number pods. two on Good Pods. Uh, shout out to Australia. Shout out to Italy. Shout out to Canada. Shout out to the U.S. of A. Um, we've been hitting the charts on all of them over the last couple of weeks, and we appreciate it so much. Thank you, guys. Keep listening. Keep sharing. Keep telling friends. We love you. We appreciate you. We'll see you again, God willing, next week. Land. You think we want something from you, you got another thing coming.